one thing that continues to confuse me or baffle me is why some of these Daphnia cultures do well Daphnia and blackworm cultures but others just seem to fizzle out and I have to start over with them here we have a culture that is heavily infested with hair algae so I'm going to have to start that one over this culture is doing extremely well lots of Daphnia lots of black worms not a whole lot of brown paper in the bottom to sustain these black worms but for some reason they're doing very well Here is another culture that's doing very well. Now you can see there's lots of brown paper in the bottom to sustain the black worms. But over here, lots of paper. Well, the black worms seem to be surviving, but the water's so cloudy, the Daphnia appear to be dying off. So I'm going to have to start this culture over. Here's another culture that's doing very well, both the Daphnia and the black worms, producing, reproducing, providing lots of fish food for my pets. The 29 gallon tank is working out fine. I did a water change and removed the Mopani driftwood replacing it with some hides to partially obscure the heater and at least one of the intakes of one of three hang on the back filters quite a few fish in here but they seem to have adjusted and they're doing fine I decided that the older and deformed male guppies would be fine in a 75 gallon and I wanted something more interesting to look at in my bedroom tank so I removed the six yellow male guppies from the 75 and put them in this 10 gallon tank. Styrogene repens never did flourish in this tank but water wisteria does very well so I have several of them growing in the potting soil substrate. We don't seem to be getting a good look at the guppies, so I'll give you another shot where you can see them. Here are the yellow male guppies. I put them in the tank this morning and they have adjusted to the tank. Seem quite happy chasing each other about doesn't bother them at all going from a 75 gallon tank to a 10 gallon there's one on that side and the plants look pretty good water wisteria in front of some driftwood Here's a treat of water fleas for my yellow guppies.
most of them stay on the surface so it's a little bit difficult to see them feeding there but they seem to be enjoying them adapting well to their new surroundings <laughs>